so we're at the all star break. Pacers. Um, not doing too too hot. It is currently March seventh, twenty twenty one. Um, Pacers are not in a great position. Pacers are the tenth seed in the East right now. Um, kind of just want to talk about them a little bit. The Pacers, after they traded Oladipo, um, two four-game losing streaks, and the Pacers have not been able to get any consistency at all. They have not went on a three-game win streak all year except for the beginning of the year when they had everybody healthy. Um, so, as I probably said, I don't know if I said it or not, Pacers 16-19, 10 seed. Um, month of March... Doesn't look like they're gonna get. It's gonna be any better. You are at the at the Lakers, at the Suns, at Denver, home against Brooklyn, at Miami, at Miami, at Milwaukee, home against Detroit, which is probably gonna be your easiest game of the month by far. At Dallas, at Washington, home against Miami. Now, Pacers. If the Pacers are looking to be a playoff team and not tank for a decent draft pick, which I'm pretty sure they won't because they just don't do that. You need to go at least 500 in this month to stay alive. Um, Paces are currently two and a half games back at the four seed. Celtics are 19-17, and and they're the four seed. Um, if you're the Pacers, you'll definitely take that. Like that's, that's kind of crazy how you're, you're the 10th seed and you're only two and a half games back at the four. And that's probably the highest you can go as far as the standings are in the East. Because Milwaukee, Brooklyn, and Philly are probably going to stay up there. So, one of the things is, Levert's going to be coming back soon. Is Levert going to come home? Not come home. Come back and give you 15, 20 points a game? Maybe. Uh, I, I definitely think he'll be on a minutes restriction whenever he comes back. Um, if he if he can give you fifteen or twenty, then maybe the Pacers can go around five hundred. If Levert isn't doing good and Pacers just stay meddling like they have been, they're not going to do good this month, and then that's probably going to make things very difficult for them, decision wise, especially. But um, Levert can definitely bring some uh, scoring. You've needed scoring and shot creating, and Levert can probably bring you that. Um, one of the things that the Pacers fans have realized over this year, TJ Warren is probably the most important player on the team. Um, he's a 20-point-per-game scorer who can just get you a bucket at any time. And it's not just that, but one of the underrated parts of the game his defense is very, very key for the Pacers because this year, the Pacers have struggled on perimeter defense. Um, they're giving up a whole bunch of threes, a lot of open threes, and even and teams are making them, and even when they don't make them, it's making uh, defensive rebounding percentage go down because a lot of long rebounds. The more threes that are put up, the more long rebounds there are. Uh, also, whenever they are playing our right perimeter defense, uh, they're getting blown by a lot. Miles Turner has had to contest way, way too many shots at the rim. He's doing a great job, though, defensive player of the year, by the way. And this team has just had a lot of problems. Um, I am a p glad to be one of, well, I'm not glad to be, but I am one of those people that jumps the ship too much, too quick, in the heat of the moment. I would say, like, tank for Cade or fire the coach. I'm not going to go too hard on the coach. Um, Bjorkren, he's kind of been put in a tough situation. Uh, injuries and a whole new roster, and you're kind of having to deal with the whole Sabonis Turner thing. I don't want to fire him yet. I, th I think he can be a great coach. I do like his offensive play style. His defense isn't as great as McMillan's was, but... You know, it's it's you're only you can only do so much. Um, 
especially with Warren going to be out probably until late April. His uh, foot surgery has not recovered as quick as initially thought. So, yeah. Um, on the Pacers, okay, so after March, the Pacers schedule isn't looking too hard. It actually looks pretty, pretty easy. Most of the games you play are either middle of the road teams or um, lottery teams. So you can win out a lot of games after 8 March. And if you get Warren back, you're going to win a lot of games. Um, but still, I think the pace is high hopes. Probably four seed. Um, maybe the second round. Because uh, they, just, they just don't have the healthy team. Because Warren's just going to be coming back and LeVert is still going to be coming into his own. Um, but yeah, kind of just uh, hoping that the Pacers after the All-Star break can get it together. I know, I would love that because I need, I need to uh, have some happiness and not be depressed whenever they're losing all the time. But I mean, whenever LeVert and Warren come back, the team's going to be a lot more fun to watch. Um, which is what I care about. I want to. I, I just, as a Pacers fan, I've been starved of a healthy team over the past three years. Um, hopefully we can get that and enjoy some enjoyable playoff basketball. What do I think is going to happen? I think the Pacers will make the playoffs. I think they'll be like a top, top six, five team. Um, I don't think they're going to. This might be chalked up as another first round exit year. And even if you make it to the second round, you're not making it any farther than that. Um, I just want the full team back. This team next year, um, I think the only free agent is Doug McDermott. And you can probably resign him for cheap. But yeah, kind of just got to hope that the rest of this year is good. Got to go around 500 in March and then play out well. Hope that when Levert comes back, he's pretty good, and hope he's good enough to help the team be good until Warren comes back, and you have your full lineup for the playoffs. So, yeah.